Hello, I'm Joanne Turner reporting for Total Telecom and I'm here at the Huawei Global MBB Forum in Hong Kong and I'm talking to Francisco Varela from Facebook. Francisco, welcome. So obviously Facebook is a very well-known brand so you need no introduction whatsoever but perhaps you can tell us a little bit how you know Cellular Networks impact your business. Cellular Networks are core to our business. I mean it's important to understand that so much of our traffic comes through those networks every day from all over the world. Um, when you look at the Facebook story, we really have become a mobile company. Um, and we're adapting the services that we provide to each of those environments, depending on that cellular network. Mm -hmm. So one of the big pushes for Facebook has been providing uh, better experiences in developing markets like Africa, India, so that people can communicate and connect with their friends and the experiences that they want through those cellular networks despite the lower bandwidth speeds. And what are some of the challenges that you're seeing? Well, as I just generally referred to, it's about getting the right services to the right people. And when you go to some of those far outer areas, whether it be villages in India or s small villages in South Africa, uh, providing connectivity through a cellular network just is impossible for us. So you likely have read about our initiatives with Express Wi-Fi and partnering with ISPs to provide an, a Wi-Fi spot in a village. Um, the New York Times recently reported on this. Um, they were the lead story on it. Um, really, for us, it's how do we get data to people and get everyone on the planet connected. Yesterday here at the conference, chair, uh, the chairman Ken Hugh spoke about the initiative for NBB 2020. How are they going to connect over six billion people by the year 2020? We're very much along that same path. We definitely want to share in that, in that vision. We want to share in those accomplishments. Okay, so you obviously have to have a good relationship with operators. So what else do you need to see from them to overcome these challenges? I'm not sure it's that much about what else do we need to see from them. They just need to continue to be a partner. Um, we're constantly engaged with them. Um, on, I, I would say, almost a weekly basis, we speak to an operator somewhere in the world. And that relationship can change as, as we move forward. So obviously in the US or in a developed market in, the, in Western Europe, it's a very different conversation about what value we can both provide to the user as opposed to a conversation in a developing market when we're really trying to uh, engage the local population into a data plan. Um, our internet.org efforts over the last two years have been focused on bringing new people online. Okay, and what have you found you know, that's been of use this week at the MBB Forum? Why are events like this important? The MBB Forum is actually quite important to us. It's a wonderful place to meet not only operators, but you get them all in one place, but this is the first year they've really made this push into other verticals. Um, yesterday was our first day here, and we heard from CNN. We heard from Time. That was the first time I've heard those, those, those companies speak at this event. Um, and we had fantastic uh, discussions last night about how we might work better together moving forward, not just on the Facebook services, but with our operator partners. Um, how do we better inform them about what we need um, and how do we work together moving forward? Francisco, thanks for your time today. Well, thank you very much for your time. <laughs>